is do you create your own correspondences now this doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever to me a correspondence is something that's sort of already put in place like you know air the correspondence is for you know um, it represents air is north it's the element of air um, and then you have descriptions and then you have the astrological sign being a Gemini I'm an air element uh, so those to me those are correspondences things that correspond to the concept of air or you know the concept of earth the color is green these are things that are sort of already set in place now I don't know I, I suppose this would work better as a solitary where you can just create your own correspondences like I could decide to change the air color of air to white to be or you know because it's sort of a color you don't necessarily see you can kind of represent it as invisible or maybe a light blue um, fire could be black like charcoal you know <laughs> it's like but in some essences it would just be confusing it's redundant information if it's already set. Uh, I suppose in some ways you you could do that because it would depend on where you are. Like if you're in the middle of the desert, you know, <laughs> like rain, you wouldn't see rain, but maybe you'd get moisture, you know. It, it, I don't understand why you would have the need to create your own correspondences but then you kind of like you know the chicken or the egg you know somebody at some point had to create these correspondences <laughs> so but then like in spell work what works for you know person a might not work for person b so you'd have to add sort of your own twist to things but i still think you'd have to work with the basic concepts already sort of tried t tried and tested but for me I suppose if there was a correspondence that I would like change or something like that it would be in like the meaning of spices like <laughs> no I, I don't have access to Diagon Alley I don't know where the heck you would get mugwort you know what I mean so I'd have to like create correspondences to kind of work around that so this one so far I think has been the most challenging uh, so I can do that. Uh, so yeah. I don't create my own correspondences. I rely heavily upon, you know, Scott Cunningham and his information. And maybe farther down the line where, I'm, where I feel more solid and well-rooted, I could maybe, you know, feel more comfortable at adjusting something and then be sure it works. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then I'm an overthinker. Who knows? So, that is my answer to week 22. Do you create your own correspondences? So, thank you for watching, and blessed be.